In the middle of Cortland County, two 12-year-olds meet for the first time. But Bo and Matt already share something in common, a love for turkey hunting. This weekend, before the main season begins, kids between 12 and 15 with a junior hunting license can take part in the annual youth turkey hunt. With guidance from some more experienced hunters, the boys will get a head start on the season. It's good prime time where we can spend time with the kids, show them the safety aspects, the proper way to hunt, and it's just a little more advantage for them to get out there and really learn the, the true ethics of turkey hunting. Both boys would love to harvest an adult bird like this tom seen here in full strut, but chances are they'll have better luck with the younger birds, or the jakes as they're known. Whether they're jakes or toms, the birds must be scouted the night before the hunt. It's a tradition called roosting the birds. So at dusk, our group heads to where they think the turkeys are and listens for the magic gobble. <coughs> When you hear a bird gobble, that's always a good sign. Over dinner, the group discusses tomorrow's hunt. I'm going to come to the spot that we're going to be at, which is a low point in that field. So we're already going to be where they want to be, where they want to go. So I think we're good to go there. It's half the battle. The other half is learning the rituals and tricks of the hunting trade, like trying to mimic a hen call. Purr. Purr. <laughs> With turkeys hunting, as long as you can hear, you're pretty much into the game. Like tonight, nobody saw the birds tonight, at least when we were out roosting. Um, as we say in our sport, it's not the gobbler, it's the gobble. Early to bed, early to rise. Words that turkey hunters live by. Our camera crew isn't thrilled with the 4 a.m. wake-up call, but it's essential for the hunters and the cameras to get situated in that field before any of the turkeys stir. We just sat here now for a while and uh, it's a day to break. Hopefully they'll stop gobbling this one. Here's the scene. Bo and his mentor, Faye, are camped out in a turkey blind on the edge of a field. Our camera is in a separate blind right next door. Faye is wearing a microphone, so we'll get to listen in to the advice he gives the younger hunter. Yeah, get comfortable for now, but as soon as the bird comes in, I'm going to have to get up on your knees, get ready. Here's the gobble. He's behind us. He's behind us. He's behind us for now, but the trick is to wait him out until he gets in front of us. This, this is the toughest spot. The toughest spot. Just sit and wait. Just gotta have the patience. Bo's father is perched behind our blinds, making hen calls to lure the male turkeys within shooting distance. A matter of time now. Our patience has paid off. Just below the ravine, there's a bird within our sight. He's on the ground now. He's moving. He's working his way down that ravine right here. We appear to be in turkey territory. About 20 minutes later, more birds arrive. Bo now has a look at three gobbling turkeys. Go ahead, take that one. Not the side. Aim for that. Face that. Nope. You missed. You missed them. It's all right. Relax. It's all right. Don't worry about it. We've all missed them. <laughs> hey. What'd we do? We got into them, but no bird. Back at the cabin, we learned that the other hunters didn't make out much better. Everyone comes home empty-handed. No turkeys were harvested this day, but the hunt and the love for turkey hunting live on. Our young hunters will even be hungrier for a bird next year. Perhaps then, this snapshot will have a turkey smack in the middle of it. <laughs>